identification when you're buying a home. So you've bought a home, you've sold a home, there's going to be a number of things that you have to do. One of which is go to a lawyer. When you're at the lawyer's office, you're going to have to bring in some identification. Why? Well, your bank doesn't want to lend you money unless they know that you're going to get it. And it'd be pretty irresponsible of a lawyer to give you money from the sale of your home unless they're absolutely sure that they knew who you were. What kind of ID do you need? Most of the time, and with almost every lender in Canada, you're going to need two pieces of ID. Two. One is going to be photo ID. That's going to be a government issue uh, type of identification, passport, a driver's license, a citizenship card, Canadian Institute for the Blind, that kind of identification. Costco cards or gym memberships, those are not going to work in these situations. Now you're also going to need a second piece of ID. The second piece of ID can be another of the photo IDs, so a passport and a driver's license, or it'll be something with a signature, or usually has a signature, and some of that will depend on your bank. Things like a credit card that's been signed, or a healthcare card, or a birth certificate, those are the kind of secondary pieces of ID. If you don't have ID, it's going to be very important for you to arrange to get ID before your possession date, before you have to go to the lawyer, because they're going to need to know who you are. That's another Kahane Law Legal Minute. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, like our video, share our video, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.